Yeah, over these losses that they've had in that losing streak, the Cougs haven't scored more than 17 points in any of those games. Well, that continued today, except that the offense really shot themselves in the foot in this one. Up 10 to 7 in the second quarter, the Cougs offense let up some sacks in their own territory that backed them up to their own three yard line. Washington turned though into great field position and then into a touchdown in the third quarter, down 28 10, trying to trim it to a one to uh, trim into the lead. Another sack disrupts the drive. Wazoo had to settle for a field goal down 28 13, trying to make it one touchdown game. Fumble from Dion McIntosh, then an interception after they had forced a punt after that fumble. Just another miscue by Washington State in that one. He had another earlier in the game that was just another head scratcher. Washington State didn't do themselves any favors in the loss, especially when it comes to offense. We're now going to send it out to Brenna Green, who's over at Husky Stadium, with what the team had to say about losing again. Thanks, Karthik. Obviously, the game tonight, a huge deal, but what's really making waves is what happened during the post game. Mike Leach was asked about losing his seventh straight Apple Cup. He talked about recruiting a little bit and how the Huskies have bigger, better recruiting classes. And then John Blanchett of the Spokesman Review asked him if he shouldn't beat teams with better recruiting classes. And well, it went off the rails from there. Uh, we are going to show you that full soundbite in full right now. Well, it's frustrating. I, I do find this part of it interesting, though. I mean, as fast as you guys rank their recruit, recruiting class, you know, um, uh, in the top ten, and then you're always surprised when they win. So I think that, uh, you know, maybe uh, uh, that would have a little something to do with it. So you're not supposed to beat teams that have higher ranked recruiting classes? Well, we certainly have before. We well, certainly have before. We didn't win this one, and I don't care to have a big discussion with you on it because I really don't care what you think. Like you know, and you run your mouth in your little old column and stuff like uh, uh, some, some sanctimonious troll and uh, where, you know, you've never been fair or even-handed with us, so I really don't care what you think. Okay, go ahead, because you're going to write some nasty... Uh, stuff anyway, like you always do. And I don't know which Coog way back when did something that offended you. And I really don't care about that either. But you can live your little meager, meager life in your little hole and write nasty things. And if that makes you feel even, you go right ahead. Okay, uh, next. That video has over 100,000 views on Twitter. And that whole exchange happened about an hour ago. After the game, also the media talked with Max Borgie. You remember after last game, he predicted that he would be scoring a lot. He did score the Cougs lone touchdown in the game, but it came in the first drive of the first quarter. After that, not much scoring for the Cougs to be had. He was pretty tough on his team during the post game as well. I feel like guys hype this game up more than they should. It's just another game. It's a, it's a regular game, but a lot of guys like to Oh, it's Washington. Oh, but it's like, I don't know. I just feel like as a team, we could do a better job just playing, playing the next play and then just playing football. A lot of guys get tight and antsy out there, it seems like, and it shows. Sometimes some guys just put their heads down and it drives me nuts. I mean, a full, a full game is four quarters. <laughs> if the other team scores, it's no big deal. I mean, there's still so much time left in the clock. I, I felt like uh, after, the, after their first touchdown, some guys were like, oh, oh no. But like, I just got to do my best job at elevating guys and bringing them up and telling guys to keep their heads up. Um, that's completely on me. And, uh, you yeah. know, obviously the first drive was pretty, pretty good drive. And then after that, guys just, we, we, had, a we had trouble doing our own job, it felt like. Um, it takes all 11 of us to, to make plays happen. And you, you can't do it if someone messes up uh, their assignment. And just felt like every other play or so, someone was messing up and it's just not going to do it. I think it's fair to say not a happy bunch right now in that Cougar locker room. The Cougs now wait to find out where they will head for a bowl game. It looks like it'll probably be the Vegas Bowl or the Cheez-It Bowl, but we won't know that for sure until a couple more weeks. That's it for me at the at Husky Stadium. Back to you guys.